If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. What we can go ahead and do first is draw a picture that represents the information being described. So here we have the horse represented by a rectangle and it's galloping to the right with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. We then have the daring ranch hand up at the top of the tree and he's going to let go and fall straight down a distance of three meters. And in this case, it's going to turn out that we can solve part B before solving part A. It's a little bit easier to work the question that way. So we're going to try to calculate the time that it takes the ranch hand to fall three meters. So let's just focus on him and for now we can ignore the horse. So for the ranch hand, what we want to do is fill in as much of these variables as we know. So for example, because the ranch hand releases himself from the tree at rest, that means his initial velocity will be zero meters per second. Also, since the ranch hand is falling straight down, he's in free fall, so his acceleration is going to be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Note the negative sign because he's accelerating downward under the influence of gravity. The displacement, or delta y, of the ranch hand is shown in the figure to be 3 meters. However, since he's falling down, we have to make sure that we call that negative 3 meters. And what we're going to do is simply calculate the time using one of the formulas we've learned from kinematics. Now, note that because the initial velocity of the ranch hand was stated as being 0, this term right here will be eliminated, so we can simplify the equation. Since we're trying to solve for the time t, what we can go ahead and do is multiply both sides of the equation by 2. And of course, what will happen on the right side is that 1 half times 2 will become 1. We could then divide both sides of the equation by a. And finally, take the square root of both sides so we can isolate t. At this point, we can go ahead and plug in the known value for delta y as well as for the acceleration. And when we simplify this in our calculator, we get a time of approximately 0.782 seconds. So this will be the correct answer to part B of the problem. Now to solve part A, we just have to note the following very important fact. The time required for the ranch hand to fall will equal the time required for the horse to reach the ranch hand. If you'd like to, you can pause the video and read that to yourself a couple of times and make sure that it makes sense. But basically what we're saying is that if the time for the ranch hand to fall is given by 0.782 seconds, then it's also going to take 0.782 seconds for the horse to reach the ranch hand right at the moment that the ranch hand is reaching ground level or at least saddle level in this case. So we're going to set up another table. This time we'll set it up for the horse, not the ranch hand, and we'll carry over the 0.782 seconds that we just calculated. So here we've set up the chart just like we did for the ranch hand, but this time for the horse, we've drawn the horse over here, though that picture might not be terribly helpful for part A. We note from that picture that the initial velocity of the horse is 10 meters per second, so we can fill that into the table. Notice that the question states that the speed of the horse is constant, so that means that the acceleration is equal to zero meters per second squared. And we're being asked to calculate delta x, which would be the horizontal distance that the horse travels in order to reach the ranch hand. We'll use the same equation of kinematics that we used in part b. Since the acceleration of the horse is zero, we can confidently eliminate this term. And then we'll simply plug in the known values for the initial velocity as well as the time. And we can see that the displacement of the horse would equal 7.82 meters. So that would be the distance the horse travels in order to reach the ranch hand. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post a solution to it on YouTube.